Hey, good evening everyone. It's T. Swales and it is a Monday evening here. In fact, it's about 10.45 at night and there was a tornado watch out earlier today for some parts of my area and um, having the free time to chase, that's what I decided to do. So I went up to Waterloo and points west and got out into the area around Grundy Center in Parkersburg and we got into some pretty wicked storms. And this radar here, which loops up through about 10.30, it shows here's Dubuque and here's where Waterloo is and you'll notice on this frame right about there see that big storm we drove right through that on the way back and I'm sure we hit at least 55 mile an hour winds and some torrential rain a lot of vehicles pulled over the side had some small hail you know the the typical stuff but what we didn't realize was that there actually was a tornado warning that was out coming back through this and so we kind of core punched that and took a pretty good beating, but made it home safe and sound. Unfortunately, didn't get to see too much outside of some pretty wicked, good old fashioned summertime storms. Now, the one thing they did do is dump a lot of rain today. The dew points really climbed fast into the 70s, and you can see everywhere here where there's red and oranges, that's where we're looking at amounts today that were probably up there around one to as much as two and a half inches. So there's a couple bands of it here. One cuts right on through the Tama area through Cedar Rapids and then north of the Quad Cities. And this other one here is where there was some real bangers up around Waterloo and points northeast. And so uh, depending on where you were, you could have got some pretty good rains today, but in other areas, not so much. Now the pattern, not going to change dramatically here as we go through the next few days. And you can see our thunderstorms from this first round of weather is now lifting off to the northeast, but if you back this picture out, well, you can still see a plume of moisture that extends all the way back down into the southwestern United States. So this front here is being blocked by a high pressure ridge over the eastern United States, not gonna move very much, so the moisture will continue to surge along that, and we're gonna see an active weather pattern here with some occasional showers and thunderstorms in the days ahead. Now the next area of concern will be this trough over the western United States, as it sits out here along that high pressure area in the ridge to the east, it's going to eject that moisture and upper air disturbances towards us. And these are what can trigger some scattered showers and thunderstorms. And we will get to that in just a moment. But I think the big thing here that you're really going to notice the next few days is that it's not going to rain all the time. And when it isn't raining, it's going to be warm and it's going to be very muggy. And these are the five-day temperature departures. This is day zero through five, which takes you out through the 9th of September, and you can see well above normal readings here in the Midwest. And now we're gonna go all the way out five to 10 days, and if anything, the warmth even gets more pronounced as we go through the general period of about the 14th of September through the 19th. So I don't see any big shots of cold air, that is for sure, in the coming days. Now, getting back to the temperatures, well, they're probably gonna look pretty much like this, staying well into the 80s here as we go through Thursday. We've got readings 85 to 89 here in Cedar Rapids. Then we get a, a day here on Friday where we take a pretty good drop, but that cold front quickly moves off to the east, return flow establishes, and again, late in the week and early next week, a lot of highs well into the 80s, maybe pushing 90 in a few spots, and that's what the European is showing there. So in the general sense here, nine out of the next 10 days looking pretty warm here in the Midwest. Now here's what's going to happen in terms of frontal systems and precipitation. And we're starting you out Tuesday morning. Still a few lingering showers and storms around, but by afternoon here, most of those have dissipated. But we do have some heating underway. And then as we get into tomorrow night, you can see especially in the area along and north of Highway 30, some additional thunderstorms develop. Those will be fading away then as the nighttime hours progress. And then Wednesday should dry out, get warm again. But look what happens towards the time we get to Wednesday night. New storms forming again, but particularly in the northern half of the area. Then during the day on Thursday, we warm up, get hot and humid, and bang. Then Thursday night, we finally get a front to come through here. That should spark some more active storms. And there is the possibility that overall, uh, some areas could see another one to three inches of rain before temperatures really cool on down after that. This is what the European is showing for total precipitation. And we're out here... Uh, through the day on Friday, and you can see a lot of spots in the north where those storms are pretty common. Anywhere from one to maybe three inches of additional rainfall, not as much in the far south, but even here, I would expect to see some decent amounts of precipitation. And, and over the next 10 days, 
This is the precipitation and anomaly. And you can see down in the south, a little bit below normal, but boy, you get uh, north of Interstate uh, inter 80, that is, and Highway 30. Could be some areas with over two, two and a half inches of rain beyond what you'd typically expect during that 10 day period. Now, as far as severe weather goes, got a possibility that some strong storms could sneak into northwestern Iowa during the day tomorrow. Then on Wednesday, some of those will creep a little bit further off to the east. And then finally, by the time we get to Thursday, I think the chances for more strong storms move back into my area as that front finally comes through here, ending the precipitation and getting the strong storms out of our area. So to summarize very quickly here, the next three days looking very warm, very humid, some scattered showers and thunderstorms storms, especially in the late afternoon and evening hours, and particularly across the northern half of our area. And then things cool down on Friday to close out the week. And that is it. I'm out of here. Thanks for checking us out.